Alright guys, so we stopped here at the market so I could get myself a nice coffee and we are headed to the, they call it the rescue mission. It is a thrift store that is close to Gettysburg. I've been there quite a few times already, never filmed there. Uh, so we're just gonna check it out, see, you know, what we can find. And typically there, it's very like jumbled, like they just have stuff kind of like piled everywhere from what I remember. So it's gonna be a lot of like digging and that kind of thing. But yeah, it is pretty, it's pretty large. I mean, they have a good amount of everything, shoes, clothes, and household goods. So I have found things there before. So we just decided to kind of stay around the area today. And yeah, so we're going to head on over there. So hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Hope you find stuff. Yes. <laughs> That's always what we want to do. <laughs> How these? Horrid heels. Those are really nice. The rhinestones. We do have a pair of torrids listed right now. I'm not sure how much they cost though. How much the shoes are. Oh, shoes. No, those shoe stretchers. $1.50. How much are shoes? <laughs> do you know how much the shoes are, Eric? Boy, Tramp. Check out these snazzy boots. Mark Fisher. I feel like I've heard of this brand before. Who was it? Mark Fisher. F-I-S-H-E-R. Alright, so I'm definitely going to get these. It's, the lighting in here is not very good. Uh, but these are Mark Fisher. So that's a really good brand. Chelsea Boots. Eric's going to get me a basket, and I'm thinking of getting these Torrid sandals, and I'm up in the air about these Zodiac. These are vintage cowboy boots. They're really nice, but they do have a little bit of blemish. We'll see. Well, these are nice. These are a teen Agner. It's dark in places. It, it is kind of dark in places. And it is freezing. <laughs> yeah, definitely freezing. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to look at, though. I'm trying not to focus on how cold I am. Come on. Can't even see your breath. <laughs> I'm a real pussy cat. Oh my god, it's a Cheshire cat. Well, it's not, but... <laughs> what? Cat... Cavalry... England. We're gonna have to look that up. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It just says... Pharmacy's historic role. One hat mama. Bugs with mooses. Oh my god, <laughs> so cute. This one's pretty sweet. I actually have a cat mug just like this listed, but it hasn't it hasn't sold yet. So. You want a cat mug? Aw, I like that one back there, but I don't think it was really worth anything. So there's a lot of mugs in here. Oh, there's two with the moose inside. That's cute. Is that the Morton Salt Girl? Yeah. It's kind of interesting. It's plastic. Mm. Some folds around. Oopsie. Mickey Mouse. There's a Garfield. Grandpa, you're the greatest. Take a look over on this side here. It seems to be maybe some plastic, the plastic wear. Wares. Yeah, the plastic wares. There is some stuff mixed in though. Oh, like what's this thing? Hand painted Oxford, England. What did what what is that for? <laughs> I'm unsure what you would stick in there. Hmm. So many noises. 
Bubba Gump shrimp <laughs> in me. <laughs> Kitchen gadget. We got some lots of old looking beauty stuff. Yeah. Pinod talc. Scraper. <laughs> what is it? Like a lot of travel. Here's some Calvin Klein of Slushum for men deodorant. Three dollars on that. That seems kind of pricey. What's that? <laughs> a lot of the bottles are definitely <laughs> practically empty. It seems like. <laughs> Sometimes older stuff, especially new in packaging, can, can be something, but it's just going to take scanning, scanning things. So all like travel. The scanning of things. Yeah. There's some makeup in here. It's definitely all really new. To cleansing cake. That looks old. <laughs> Hello, cutie mud mask. What's back in through here? Shapely secret. There's bare minerals. Is there anything in it or is it just an empty box? Ah, just an empty box. Excellent. Precisely what I want. Oh, here's a gas perfume. Not a whole lot left in it. It fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> it, it is very, everywhere. very dinged up. Everything's just like really used. Heating pad <laughs> fabric on it. Very retro. Hair stuff. This looks like a perfume. Celine Dion. I'm pretty sure that's empty. Glacial soap. What the heck is this stuff? Methylated splash lotion. It's interesting enough that I might look that up just to see. <clears throat> there are minerals down here. Very okay. Goody magnetic rollers. Eric just found an entire stack of those Pebla plates. Yeah. Or bowls, bowls and plates. How many plates was it that I sold? Six oh, for a hundred bucks. Yeah. So we're probably gonna just pick them up. If pick all... this stack, yeah. As long as there's no like chips or anything wrong. I think the uh, the bird yeah. is what made uh, some of them more valuable than others. And they all have the bird on. So they have them marked a dollar a piece. So even at a dollar a piece, that's still yeah, they're a little used, but the plates were really too. Deal. Yeah, I think we're going to... Cool, cool. Let me look around here. 
I didn't get a chance to kind of go through this section here. It's a little weird. These have one bird. My other ones have two. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Maybe that's just the bigger plates. It says dishes are 75 cents unless otherwise marked. Of course, it's an odd number, right? Nothing's nothing's awesome. wrong with them. It's oh, good. Just, just Ivory bone china, Macassar. It's not too bad. Oh wow! Check out these canisters. Glassware, vases. This one's pretty. Like that orange one. American bling. That's certainly blingy. It's really pretty. What do they have on that? Five dollars. Not too shabby. Lure. I like how that feels. Let's take a look at these shoes while I'm over here. Shoes. Look at these. Shoes. Hey, it's more Mark Fisher. Sweet. Gonna have to grab them too. Mark Fisher. Their shoes, these probably originally retailed oh, like a hundred. I don't know, will it come off? Oh, I don't know. What is that? It looks like. Wet your finger. <laughs> Ooh, what are these? Look at these. These look nice. Air step. I'm afraid not. You don't think they're gonna come clean? Mm. Dang oh dang oh. That looks like an actual that would have been, that looks like a bleach mark, unfortunately. That would have been another really good score there. Maybe. Oh well. What can you do? Right? that I found two Mark Fishers though. <laughs> Maybe there's more. Maybe. It's really hard to say. You could try. 
could try. Yeah. All right. Well, go ahead and throw them in my my cart, and we'll go from there. Hey, here's some J. Renee's. J. Renee. Yeah, they're a little plain. The ones we sold were just kind of more out there. I thought these looked cool. Stuff. Never heard of it. Well, these are gas. Oops. Bandolino. Very nice. Like I didn't really see anything in that bin. There's another bin over there. Where's your, where's your bin? My bin. It's right here. My bin. Oh, right below the scoozies. Or the person, I should say. I'm to look over at this one. I see some boots. Fur. Fur boots. Guys. Henry Ferrera. They just seem so... There's nothing to them. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back. To where we were. Oh, it's Chip. It's weird that he doesn't have a face though. But that's so cute. I love Chip and Mrs. Potts. They're like my absolute favorite Disney characters. Very tempting there. these dishes now. Just make sure we don't miss them, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's a million dishes. There is a million dishes. People don't really check because you don't want to ship them. Yeah. They're a pain in the butt, but... They can be profitable. Yeah, they can be. They can be. This just looks like fabric and bolts of yarn, string, kind of thing. We're going over this way, so let's take a look over here. Lots of um, patterns is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's a lot of digging here. It's just stuff everywhere. Don't eat checks without the milk. Oh my gosh, that's like an old, uh, like dry erase type board. Those are shaped like Mickey Mouse. A dollar a piece. I'm always afraid I'm gonna just knock something down. <laughs> that it's not attached to that. Salt and pepper. 
water shaker. There's still something in them. <laughs> It's actually made of plastic. It's trying to be a little what's underneath this thing. Precious moments. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. That thing's interesting. It's got a lot of pictures over here. Random pair of socks. <laughs> Lots of fabric too. Oh my gosh. Could dig in here for hours if you are looking for fabric or blankets, pillows, that kind of thing. So much stuff. A lot of these blankets. Welcome back. We are ready to do another haul for you. This one is the haul from the rescue mission in Gettysburg. What did we spend there? We spent a lot. Oh, like 62, 63 yeah. bucks. Their prices are a little high, but well, some stuff. Not yeah, everything. not everything. We did buy a lot of a certain something. So we're just going to start in on with what we purchased. Now they do like many thrift stores have like a counter with, you know, purses behind it and then stuff in the counter like jewelry and things like that. And there were some men's cologne in the counter and they ended up being Mary Kay, which in my mind I was like, mm, I don't really know if Mary Kay cologne is really worth much. But <laughs> Uh, for reselling purposes because um, the prices that they had on them were fairly fairly high. Yeah, 15 bucks? Yeah. We don't normally pay that much for one thing. So I got two of these men's Mary Kay colognes. The scent is called Tribute for Men. These were $15 a piece but what I did was I <laughs> There we go. They I gotta got see it. Out. <laughs> we'll block you out. I checked on eBay and this scent is discontinued, so which is making it worth more. So these were consistently selling for about fifty dollars is what they were selling for this size, the three point one fluid ounce. So I figured for the price that they are consistently selling at, I was more willing to pay the $15 that they were asking. Typically, when I see $15, yeah. Eric knows. I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to pay that. It's okay um, when it seems like a pretty safe purchase. Yeah, it does. It, so did seem, it did seem like a safe purchase. And they did have a few other Mary Kay men's colognes, but they weren't worth near as much because um, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if they were discontinued or not. I don't think they were full either. Yeah, so definitely, even though it might be a, a brand, you know, like that, that's not necessarily what I'd consider like high end or anything. Um, if it's discontinued, it definitely could be potentially worth more. So keep an eye out there. Did, did we ever turn the mic on? Yes, I did. Okay. I was going to say, I, I even still look at Avon just in case. <laughs> I've yeah. yet to find anything there, besides the calendar, but... I haven't, I personally haven't checked Avon perfumes lately to see if there are any that are... I should probably do or, that. Yeah, I probably no should. No are. Just because it is a brand that you do see out Everywhere. and about Everywhere. fairly frequently. So, but yeah, those were the perfume score. What's the next item? I don't know. Why don't you Let's go with the, the flower brick. You look okay. this up. You got your info here. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this thing here, when I saw it in the store, I picked it up and I was like, what is this thing? And then I sat it back down. And I need to stop doing that. If it's something that I don't know what it is, I need to just hold up a second, look it up, try to figure out what it is, who it's made by, and go from there. Not just kind of yeah, like, I don't know what it is, and we're walk opposites. away. You're like, I don't know what it is, so it's nothing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I look at everything, because I just want to be sure. So this flower brick 
this is what it's called. It is called a flower brick. It was $5 and it is marked on the bottom, hand painted, handcrafted, Oxford, England. Did you show the bottom? I couldn't tell because you had me blocked out. Um, but that's what it says on the bottom and doing a little bit of Google research, just putting in those terms. Um, I found out it is by a, um, lady named Deborah Sears, I believe. And yeah, th some of these pieces can, can be worth, worth a lot. So that was, that was surprising to me. I definitely just learned something off of this with the whole lot of like, I don't know what it is, but these things are called flower breaks. What are we going to try with that? An auction? Yeah, since I'm not entirely sure what it's going to sell for, um, when I'm not sure about what to price something at, I usually is when I put something up on auction. Typically, I always do buy it now, and I go by, you know, sold prices and stuff like that to determine my buy it now price. But if I'm like really stumped or something like that, I'll put it up with, you know, like a price I think is fair. And then if it sells with just one bid at that price, I'm more than happy. If it would go up, that would be amazingly great. And then if it doesn't sell at that price, then I would relist it as a buy it now and lower the price slightly. So I think I might put this up on auction for like 40 and see what happens. Cause some of them do go for a decent amount. I'm just not sure if this particular design might not be as desirable yeah as desirable as some of the others it's a nice brick it is it's really i had to look up to see what they were it's yeah. actually pretty neat when the flowers so grow out we learned something now when i see one of these again i'm gonna be like oh my god yeah that's a flower brick <laughs> right <laughs> who knew I, you guys are probably like well i knew it was but i did not know that <laughs> Okay. All right. So next item that we picked up, <laughs> you might recognize these this. before because we won these at an auction before. Yes. We won like a whole stack of them for three bucks. And they are these vintage amphora plates, um, hand painted, made in Mexico. Yeah, they're, Actually, they're really nice plates. The style I think is called Pebla Blue. Yeah, it's got a little little blue bird. It's kind of hard to tell unless you're really looking for it because they all look different. They're all hand painted. Um, the last set we got. <laughs> I sold six plates for a hundred dollars. That's pretty good. That's crazy. Uh, so to find these again yeah, was, I was kind like, of wow. like, and they have the exact oh. same emblem. So they're from right around the same time period, but I ended up getting what I think six of these. I believe these are, these are probably like close to nine inches. I didn't measure them. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> then I, I got, oh, I got nine, nine of this one. This is probably more of a, a seven inch plate. Right in around there, trying not to get that glare. And then we got six bowls, which I had never seen before. So um, as far as what these will sell for, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do this time. Last time shipping was pretty killer. I did end up charging some shipping. So I think I'd have to really look, but they're probably going up for somewhere around 50 or 60. I'm probably gonna charge shipping on this one in case they go the whole way over to California and cost me $30. <laughs> yeah, but it costs a lot more to ship to California. I charged them 12. Coast. So that covered some of it. Yeah. That's fine. We, I mean, I more than made my money, so I wasn't upset about it. But I'll tell you, plates are kind of a pain to pack. Did you say how much um, you paid oh, for these? Oh, they were a dollar a piece. So dollar I ended up piece. with 20 pieces for 20, $20. bucks. $20. A little that's... more than I paid last time, but yeah. still a steal. That's what a kind steal. of made our, well, that and the colognes kind of is what made, you know, the, our bill higher than... You know, yeah, hopefully they don't sit typical. for too long. Those plates disappeared fast, but I do have mugs and saucers that have been sitting for a little while. So yeah. I might just have to adjust the price and try and get them out. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I actually found a couple pairs of shoes. You guys know I love shoes. Oh my god, shoes. <laughs> So the first ones I found were these Mark Fisher Chelsea boots. So they're just these snazzy black boots. They have a pointed toe and these are just really, really nice. They feel neat. Um, Mark, Plastic. Mark Fisher. Yeah. Anytime you see like with a boot that has this like elastic banding down the side there, that's what they refer to as a Chelsea boot. That style. Yeah, hey, I just learned. <laughs> um, but these are really nice. These probably were like 
a hundred dollar pair of shoes. Mark Fisher is very expensive. Do you remember how much the shoes were? I think they were two fifty or three fifty. Three fifty was boots, so I don't. I'm not even sure if they considered that a boot or a shoe. Yeah, it's like a booty. Shoe prices were good there. That's um, that's for sure. But these are a size eleven, and yeah, like I definitely I know I'll get more than three dollars or four dollars for them. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna price them at yet. I gotta look at. Um, completed of this particular size and style uh, but that was a really nice find to find Mark Fisher there and I found another pair of Mark Fisher there were two pairs there so these ones are also really snazzy they got like a snazzy. snake skin kind of design but also with a pointed toe slightly shorter look to them though but these are probably a size 11 as well let me just can I see down there? Yeah, yep, they're a size 11 as well. So those were an awesome score. I've never found, I don't think I've ever found or sold a pair of Mark Fisher One of them does before. have a spot though. Yes, this one here, where was it? I think it's on the other one. The other one? It, it kind of looks like it might be a bleach spot. I'm gonna try some like gentle detergent. See, here's see if it comes the thing. Off. Eric's got hawk eyes. Obviously, my eyes aren't the greatest. I wear glasses because I'm like looking right now and I don't even see it. Where's it at? <laughs> it is that yellowish spot. Huh? You can see that. Let me see. Let me see. Right there. Yes. That's okay. I do see spot. it now. So I'll try to get it's it not out. Like, but I, I do fear it is kind of something that kind of bleached it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So I, obviously that'll. You know, make the price not as as high because so it, it does at have a two fifty three fifty. It was worth the risk. Um, oh yeah. Sometimes you gotta try, otherwise you'll never yeah. know how to clean shoes. Yep. There's and all these are different just materials, so all nice different ways. Quality, so soft, so well made. You could probably sell it with the spot on it. Yep. It'll just be cheaper that way. Yep. Get a little bit of a discount there. Um, and I, I guess I'll show you guys my other pair of shoes that I picked up. These ones are by. Torrid, and they're just really pretty heels. They got um, just like this studded, I guess it would help if I had them the <laughs> right way. Just this <laughs> studded design all over. Just very, very pretty. And they look like they're in like you, new condition. Like they I don't, don't even really look worn. I don't know how you walk in them either. <laughs> because it just looks me in heels. Painful. Oh my gosh! I am the most clumsiest, clutziest person ever. I would, I would probably fall as soon as I stood up to to put them on. Uh, but these are, I believe, a nine, a nine wide. So they look in really good shape. They too. are. Like I don't think they were really yeah, worn. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. Nope. Because you always get a scuff on the heel. It's yeah. impossible. Wear wear heels one time and you see a scuff. <laughs> But yeah, you can see. Still has a price tag. Yeah, you can see a price tag down here something. that they were forty nine dollars originally. And I like picking up Torrid stuff. I think it sells. I do have a pair of Torrid shoes that I got at a yard sale, um, not that long ago. That haven't sold yet, but I might have to just adjust the price a little bit to sometimes shoes to get them out. Too. Yeah, you just you gotta find the right like person. Two years after you bought them, sometimes. Yeah, just finding the right person who's looking for that specific shoe right at that moment because like I, I tell people sometimes like ones who get discouraged about things like not selling and everything like that and it's like I think of myself as like because I buy stuff on eBay as well and it's not like every day I'm going on eBay and was like okay I want a pair of black studded heels you know what I mean like it, it's not every day that I'm, I'm going looking for, you know, a specific item, so. But as long as the stuff's listed, you have it up in your store or whatever, then when that right person comes along, there it is, and they can buy it, so. You gotta determine as a seller if you're all right with things sitting, too. Yeah. We're all right with it. We got a storage space, and. Yeah. I mean, what, you just sold pants not that long ago. They've probably been here for two, three years. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it gets discouraging and I think like, oh, I'm just going to end this auction and, and you know, boom. donate donate the stuff that's just been sitting for a mm, while. A pair of jeans for like $30, $35 out of nowhere. Yep. And then, was there anything else just this? Oh, your mistake. 
This, okay, this was <laughs> slightly a mistake. Kind of a cool mistake, though, no, in paying my opinion. I found this stuff that just looked weird because, well, I was drawn to it because it has a penguin on it. Uh, but it's called Alcalata Glacial. Um, so there's a methyl menthol mentholated splash lotion and a mentholated soap. So they look like this. And the soap was 75 cents and this lotion was a dollar. So when I looked this up, I saw it completed and I will tell you what, the internet in that place was like oh, non-existent. Yes. So looking up stuff, you had to walk to like a certain area of the store to try to get a signal. So I wasn't as, when I saw this, I was just, Mm. The completed was for a case of, mm. what was it, like 24? Yeah. yeah. That sold for 90 some dollars. And when I saw it, I was thinking just this sold for like 90 like, something. Sometimes you find stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so it was sold for 100 it, bucks for one, so I guess you didn't to, question To me, it. it was not far fetched. I was like, oh my gosh, I just hit the jackpot, you know, because it was only a dollar. Then when we actually got outside after paying and everything, and I was able to look a little better um, because I had more of a signal, I saw that it was for a case of them. But I guess the stuff is. You know, you can buy it online, but I don't know if it's actually within the U.S., but it's kind of cool. Like, we might just keep these because since they're mentholated, the smell of it is very menthol smelling, so it's great for, like, if you have a cold. Um, <laughs> It really is gonna like open up. I mean, for frost to come out of there. Yeah, it's really gonna open up like your sinuses and stuff like How that. How's that lotion? It just looks like. I water. think it's more like like <laughs> splash, like after shave. After shave. Oh no. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe you wouldn't really want to do <laughs> do that, but um, it did mention after shave on the the back of it, hmm. but. You know, regardless, um, I paid a dollar seventy-five. It was a slight mistake. I might still try and sell it. I don't know. Haven't haven't really decided that yet. But <laughs> that just goes to show you need to be super careful when you're checking the auctions because it was for a case of twenty-four, not just one piece, Michelle. <laughs> Live and learn. It's a dollar. Something. Yeah, at least it was only a dollar. Gosh, if I had paid more than that, I'd probably really be kicking myself about we it. We tend to just eat those mistakes. <laughs> I'm not going to take it back because it ain't worth what they yeah, thought it was. No, I, don't, I feel just, wrong about yeah, that. Yeah, especially when the money is going to a cause, which this place does. So. It's the first time in a long time we've been in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think kind we need to. about it. I think we need to go back more often. I don't know how how often we, they. I don't think we got a lot of footage, did we? It was, was hard. A lot of chaos going on. Was... It was, <laughs> and um, also, the lighting wasn't as yeah. As one aisle was dark, and the next but, aisle was and bright. And it was really cold because it was almost like in a basement, really. It wasn't a basement. Yeah, it was surrounded but it was by like cement. Cement, walls. yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, we'll check it out again sometime here in the not so distant future. You just never know. That's the great thing about thrift stores. You just never know what you're gonna find. You can go into what looks like, you know, not the greatest thrift store and walk out with lots of goodies. But it's just a, a never know situation. So you gotta I'm spend really time happy. there and look. Look yep. thoroughly. Yeah. You'll find stuff. Yeah. It's not often you go and you don't find anything. It happens it does sometimes. Happen. But usually we can at least walk out with something. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, that is everything for our haul for this thrifting trip. You guys have to let us know what you thought down in the comments, um, what you thought maybe like our coolest find was. I think that he says the plates. I don't know, I think that. <laughs> yeah, I'll agree with that actually. That's pretty Just because neat. we learned something. And it was, but it is nice though with the plates, like we already knew about those. Yeah, as so soon as I saw them, I'll, my eyes lit up like, really? That was awesome. None of them were chipped. Nothing. Mm -hmm. They look all pretty good. I mean, they were, <laughs> they were used. You can see like some very light scratches on them, but so were the last ones and they mm -hmm. were happy with them. Yep. <laughs> so we hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Cut some. laughs>
some of that. <laughs> no, I'm keeping it. <laughs> no way. <laughs>